LED trainer boxes are kind of the standard way to experience a new set. You know, they got nine to 10 packs, you get a little promo, a couple random shiz additives like deck sleeves and whatnot. They're reasonably priced generally, you get them around 40 bucks. That's just a very normal product to buy when you're first getting into a set. However, there is one kind of competitor that I've never opened. The Build Battle Stadium. In a lot of ways, it has some similarities to the Elite Trainer Box. And today I'm gonna to be opening this one and seeing if I think it's better than the Elite Trainer Box. And maybe I would recommend this over that. This is the Paradox Rift Battle Stadium. I got this for $35 on Black Friday. So that was a really fantastic price, to be honest. That's pretty much what you'll pay for an Elite Trainer Box once it's gone down in excitement after a couple months. Build and Battle Stadiums have a little bit higher of an MSRP to start, Bruh. but I see them drop down to 40, 35 semi often. Like I'm pretty sure you can get like Silver Tempest build in battle stadiums for around there and a couple others probably as well. But on the front here, yeah, it has the junk that is inside, but I'd rather just open it rather than read that and try to decipher what these, oh wait, there's actually just text at the bottom that explains it. Okay. It wouldn't be that hard for me to understand then. Hopefully I can read English. The box is like a little bit smaller than an ATB, but like it's pretty similar to be honest. It's a little bit heavier, I think as well. I don't really know why the Elite Trainer box is the size that it is because half of it is just that weird filler thing. It does still have this sleeve. Okay, but there's nothing in this one, just white. I know that the basic idea of these is it's more for playing rather than collecting, but maybe it's better for collecting as well. I don't know. So this box, if you've ever got like a magic bundle, this is exactly what it looks like. Like it's seriously the exact same size, the exact same shape. If I had one here right now, I would show you. I don't though. All right, let's see. Let's, let's get a little couple surprises out of here. Holy hell, what is this? Okay, I think this is just massive brick. Should I open it to see though? Probably. I think it is massive brick though. Man, it's been a while since I opened an Elite Trainer box. Seriously, I, I mean, I didn't open Paradox Rift, so I guess that's why. Yeah, it's just, it's totally just, yeah, it's just energies. The idea behind Build Battle Stadium is like, you open some of this stuff and then you have two decks to play with, I think. So yes, this is a fat stack of energies. Nothing exciting there. Okay, we have three packs right here, but then I think that there's more packs like in these boxes, maybe? These stupid ass coins that are in the Elite Trainer boxes. I was hoping that maybe there'd be something different. And the dice. So if I had opened a Paradox Rift Elite Trainer box, I might know if this dice right here is special or not. My guess is it's just the one that comes in the Roaring Moon box though. It comes with two build and battle boxes, which have four packs each, I think. So that's a total of 11 packs that come in this box. So two more than the standard right now. I'm pretty sure nine packs is standard for Elite Trainer Box. I wonder how this prices out if you were to buy two Build and Battle Stadiums and three packs. I will disregard the other garbage because I don't think it has that much value. Bruh. Let's just open these suckers. I've actually never opened a Build and Battle Box either. One time I tried to order like six or something from GameStop because they're having like a crazy deal on they're like 10 bucks or something, maybe even less than that. But then they just sent me booster bundles, which was so much better anyway. Okay, so yeah, we got our Four packs, cool. Open those in a second. I think that's a rule book. And then, okay, this is like a basic, I think a deck that you can like kind of build whatever you pull with this stuff. I don't know if both packs will have the same little deck or not. So I'll open, I'll open the other one and see. We have this actually really cool Chiyu card on the front. I don't know if this is like showing that it's like a promo from the deck. I think it probably is though, because I doubt they all have that. Okay, Chiyu, it says on the front. Oh yeah, so look, it says Chiyu right there. So I bet he is the the, the soldier, the main soldier in this deck. And Aegislash is probably the main in the other one. If it's, or, or maybe, oh, it's, it's both. They're both in here. Okay, interesting. There's that garbage. So this is a steel fire deck. That's cool. A couple more of the Chiyu, non-hollow. They have the same effects though. Aegislash, some Iron Moth, a random Elekid. Why the hell is he in here? I do not know. So, I mean, that's cool. I mean, it's probably not worth anything, but it does make it a little bit more special. All right, what do you say we rip a couple packs before we open the other one? Paradox Rift. I haven't opened this one. I know the idea is like just a Paradox Pokemon. I know there's like a cool, What's his name? Roaring Moon. 
dude. I think there's an energy, right? Yeah, okay. It's been a minute since I've opened cards, so we okay, we got butthole Pokemon. He's crying. Oh my, why is that sad? Why is he why is he crying? Dewblade. Surskit! I feel like all Surskit art is identical. Orthworm. That's a, a really sad excuse for a Pokemon. Oh whoa! This looks kind of crazy. It's like uh duotoned. This side is like ancient and has, whoa, um, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, it's just kind of weird, I guess. If it's an ancient Pokemon, I think it might have like special effects or, or some kind of mechanic. I don't know exactly. Wimpod, Flittle, and then Terracina EX. Yeah, I mean, it's just an EX, so we're not gonna get too excited. It is trash-sized though. I think all the EX Pokemon are trash-sized in this set, I think. I guess we'll see. This is um, the Thick Thighs Save Lives Pokemon. Never hit as hard as the Gardevoir and Lopunny with the fans, though, unfortunately for Pokemon. Apparently, there's a trash-sized Garchomp in here. I would not be upset in getting that. Oh, sheesh. It's a tight pack. Almost like there's extra cards in here or something. Code, energy... Oh, some Zubat on the front. Does that mean there could be a Crobat in here? I think it does. I would be pogging if that was the case. Purloin with the full moon. About to get attacked by a, ve a werewolf. Gorgeist. Yeah, it's it's about to grab your balls. Professor Sida's Vitality. Yeah, don't care. Ting Lu, looking like an enemy from Kung Fu Panda. Steelix, just a hollow on the end. Okay, we got Armor Rouge, who has the worst shiny in the game, arguably. I mean, I guess Cerulege is just as bad. Okay, come on, baby. Let's get a little let's get a little secret art action in this pack. What would you say? Flamigo. Porygon with the building blocks, okay. Uh, that reminds me of I just saw Boy and the Blue Heron. Great movie, by the way, if you're into Studio Ghibli nonsense. I mean it is nonsense because the show is movie rather is incoherent. But anyway, they'd be building with blocks. Drop a comment if you know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> Oh, technical machine de-evolution. Man, this is a banger Minecraft disc, by the way. <laughs> Exploud. Exploud, I thought was a sick Pokemon when I was a kid. Kind of embarrassing. I didn't know about Butthole back then. Tapu Coco. No way this Pokemon is still making a, an appearance. I just want to see Tapu Bulu. I think all the Tapus are just level F Pokemon. They're just stupid and I don't like them, but some people might. Alrighty, baby. Let's get something here. Got a lot of absolute nothing so far. Well, that was kind of cool. Pulled them both off at the same time. Jabile, Pampor, Blitzel, and the Trippy Acid are Dondozo. Tulip. Man, I played this game. I have no idea who that is. Veluza. I hate that Pokemon. Joltik with the little berries looking quite cute. With the Chiyu. Okay, so. Oh, this is a promo. Because this is a Chiyu that you actually get in the deck. And this Chiyu is an actual promo. It says Black Star promo down there. That's actually really cool. That makes me think this is way more awesome. Chiyu. Alrighty, we got the Iron Valiant, I think is that one's name. The the transgender Gallade Gardevoir crossover. Water energy. Oh, I just, I know it's on the end. I just saw a regular hollow border. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go, go through this. Oh, Slitherwing, that's kind of cool. Yeah, Melodic. Oh, with another Minecraft disc. Sorry, guys. All right, Garchomp. Bless me, please. I have done absolutely nothing thus far. This has been so dead beat bad. Uh, energy, yeah, don't care. Wiglet, um, they're doing some sort of scene from Little Mermaid, dancing around. Gligger, Blipbug, hoarding the berries. Why are so many Pokemon in love with hoarding berries? I don't know. Okay, we got this future capsule. Uh, yeah, cool enough. Screamtail. Oh, Iron Bundle, we haven't seen that guy yet. He has a really cool little Tetris art or something. Glissopod, Gimme Ghoul, Frostlass, EX. Yeah, that's actually kind of cool because it's trash slice green. Like it just looks kind of like a different Pokemon almost. I, I think it's silly when it does a trash slice Pokemon of its same type and they make a card of that. Like I could not care less, but this is kind of cool, I guess. All right, Armor Rouge is back. Are there any like Armor Rouge or Cerulege special art cards? Cause I've never seen one. Obviously, I mean, I haven't pulled one. But that doesn't mean that much. But I've never like seen somebody be like, check out this R, it's Bon Sweet. You know? Feebass in the dark, dark cave. Plotting something. Pansage. There's a lot of the little monkeys in this here. Tetsugiri. Vanillix, Rika, 
Garganical with the Poe enemy on the end. We only got four more packs and we've gotten freaking nothing. Normally, well, you kind of got to count on EX as I hit, I guess. Maybe I'm being a little bit too annoying because normally in an ETB, I'd get four hits or three hits-ish and I'd be happy and I would count an EX. Oh, look, it actually is a different one. Man, it makes me wonder how many of these decks there are to pull. Because, I mean, I didn't pick. These are just freaking random ones that came in this box. Or maybe there's two. And if you're buying just the build and battle boxes, you don't know what you're going to get. But since I bought the Paradox Rift, like the box, the whatever it's called, stadium, you know you're going to get both. I don't know. It's so fascinating, though. I don't really want to open his little pack. I was saying I don't want to open his pack. I just want to see the little card and see what's in here. But I just remember the thing is in this pack the little card that I was reading about how to use this deck. So yeah, we're opening it. This hollow of the future card looks really cool, actually. The little Tetris art looks good. Come on, baby. There we go. Iron bundle. Good, looking fresh. Okay, this has got, oh, Galissapod and Aspathra. Could not have gotten a worse deck, I think. It's cool, I mean, blue and purple. That's, I like those colors. <laughs> Galissapod, wow, Espathra, Flittle, I hate Flittle, it's a stupid ass Pokemon. Tulip, yeah, okay. Oh yeah, here's this for you guys. Alrighty kiddos, on to the last four packs. Can we pull something that looks cool? Maybe we can, or maybe we can't. You know, it's, that's what gambling is, kids. Don't don't put too much money for it. Dotler, yep, the little UFO guy. Oh, a Clay Toxel, you guys know I'm a fan of the Clay card, so love to see that. Dondo's... <laughs> hey! Hey! Let's go! This looks sick! Give me cool! This is such an interesting art. The, the the fact that like the eyes are like shimmering and the edges are, that looks so sick! It's like very non Pokemon traditional art style. So I like it when they when they you know branch out a little bit, experiment. I actually have seen this card on X, Twitter, whatever the hell you want to call it. And I know that Cheese Stick goes up here and makes like a double card. I like when they do stuff like that. Zacian, is he? No way they're still making cards of this idiot too. So this is, yeah, this is really cool. Actually, I really like this. I wouldn't be surprised if this is worth like five bucks. Alrighty, I whined and complained and I got something. So I'm happy now. Obviously, wouldn't complain if I saw something else, but it's just kind of sad when you don't see anything special when you're opening this number of packs. You know what I'm saying? All right, do blade. So basically I could build that deck with how many freaking random AG slash cards I've gotten. Flamigo, Simipore. They really have brought back a lot of unpopular fellows in this set. Iron Jugular. Okay, see, look, this is pretty sick. Actually, it's pretty bad, eh? Hollows normally go zero. And this is going hard, I would say. Garchomp, my boy. Bless up. These packs need to stop being so dang hard to open. You're not hiding anything valuable in here, most likely, so no need for that. Okay, Lipard, stupid Pokemon. Wimpod chilling on the beach. You know that moment when you need some oil or some silica pearls in Ark and you see one of those little Wimpods? Yeah, freaking spearing that sucker. Uh, Toad's Cruel, Snorlax Doll, and Palkia. Wow, this set is so random. Snorlax Doll, I feel like this is a good card, I'm guessing. It's a non-Pokemon card with health, so that seems interesting to me. Last pack. Let's get it. Let's pull something. Please. Not an EX, though. I'd rather get nothing than an EX. Maybe maybe that's not true, but... Oracorio, Pom-Pom style, cheerleader style, Vanillite soul leaving his body. Ambipom with the penis finger, Snorlax doll again, Tikatun, great Pokemon, Porygon, Z, A, Mela! Uh, yeah, it's like, I think this is a fire gym leader. Again, very cool, like almost watercolor art style. Her eyes are shiny, so that's cool. I don't, oh wait, no, wait, I think she's one of the punks. Yeah, isn't she like one of the, one of the freaking gangster knuckleheads you have to fight? Yeah, I'm pretty sure she is, and she has a Torkoal, great Pokemon. And then an Iron Moth, okay! That's nice. Yeah, this card might be worth something. It does have a girl on it. People love girl, but I feel like Mela is not the most popular of the girl. So we'll see, I guess. Alrighty. So out of that, we got five hits out of 11 packs. That's pretty decent. Could be better. I've gotten better, but not bad by any means. Do I think it's better than an ETB? Well, to be honest, I think it's pretty equal. I mean, like in an ETB, you'll get the promo, which is normally pretty sick, actually, as of recently. 
In this, you get two promos, but they're kind of not as cool. Obviously, if you want to be playing, if you want to build a deck and play with somebody, this is probably not probably definitely better because you actually can do that but like the things like that you get in the atb like the deck sleeves are like are garbage in my mind so i don't give up about them honestly if i already had the promo from the etb or i didn't care about the promo from the etb i would say this is better because you do get two more packs and if it's the same price i'd rather get packs than freaking a promo i don't give a crap about and some sleeves and whatnot the energy brick is not great <laughs> I mean, you got to find a place for this garbage, but I don't know. Really opened my eyes a little bit today. Anyway, gamers, thanks for tagging along. Bye.